thing in here. I could do a browser debug, but the problem is um, by the time I load that, it's not going to freeze the page in time, in this moment in time. So that's not great. So I'm going to do, uh, let's see. I'm just going to show this element and I'm going to get the HTML from it, I think. Uh, HTML, get HTML. And I just want to see what's inside that HTML of my selector. And then just to show that I've, I've got some, some real stuff. And then there's also text, there's the get text. So let's see what get text does. Okay, what do we get logged out? We've got, um, this is my HTML. Maybe this uh, most recent conversation isn't working. Maybe it needs to be like that. I could have gotten my last child selector wrong. No, it doesn't have a parens. I could do last of type. So I'm gonna test this out in here and I'm gonna do a dollar sign. Um, document query this is like Mario Kart I like it I think it's could be Rainbow Road what is it yes Roy G Biv Mario Kart <laughs> it's a Rainbow Road look at that Retro. I got distracted again. You know, you know how easy it is to get distracted. Okay, um, back to this. What was I doing? Okay, so I was gonna do a query selector, find the conversation, and then results. So if I do query selector all, this is gonna bring back all of my results, but I only want the last child. Yeah, so that didn't work like I was expecting. Result section. Oh, I didn't want result. I wanted section. Right? Yeah. Dot last child. Oh, maybe that's what's going on is no. Let me see here. I uh, yeah, I am asking for the section. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so my selector is correct. I've got this last child and it's getting this last section see here yeah so it is getting that and then when I'm searching by most recent conversation element result I guess I guess I'll comment this out see what the HTML is returning at and go from there okay so we have multiple results here. So it's not being narrowed down by most recent conversation for some reason.
Well, let's just get the HTML of the most recent conversation and see what that has in it. I might have to continue this next time. What is Angular? So that's my question. Here's my result. See, that's what I would expect. But for some reason, when I search for an element inside of there, yeah, let's try that. Well, does get HTML take a selector? Get text does. Okay, so there is no text in there. So in theory, I could do like a most recent conversation dot wait for text result. Let's see how that works. Maybe this will do it. Not quite. Not quite, not quite. Wait for text results. Wait for text, you pass in your selector, and then the time. But this is gonna be 10 seconds, right? Because I didn't, yeah, so it's still at 10 seconds, so it should wait 10 seconds, which is interesting because, yeah, maybe this selector is wrong. Most recent conversation dot is existing the results with the response. So this is Koopa Koopa Castle. Boo Boo's Castle. Neat. Response should appear to be true. Expect most recent dot is existing. The other thing I could do is instead of wait for text, I could say wait for existing and then pass in the text selector as well. So that's like a, a more specific form of a text selector, of a, a wait for text selector is you're waiting for the, um, basically the same way the, the class worked. Wait for existing is not an option. What is it? Wait for... Wait for exist. Notification dot wait for exist. Still nothing. So I'm gonna have to get back to this later. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Basically, it's just not waiting. The other thing, I can just do a simple browser pause here for like 500 milliseconds. And I just want to check that it does pass. Maybe this is existing is wrong. So um, it should wait long enough. We should see the response come back. Yeah, so the response did come back. Okay, so this is existing is, is correct. But for some reason, this wait for exist isn't working. Uh, and it's probably because I'm using most recent conversation. So I could just do browser dot wait for exist. I, I keep saying that I'm gonna come back to this and then I just get caught up, keep going back into it and diving and stuff. And whew. so that worked, but <laughs> I also had my pause still in there. I didn't want that pause in there. I wanna be, be barely able to see the text. Bam, okay. So something's going on with the way that I'm trying to run wait for exist with my um, element selector. And not really sure why that's a problem because in theory, that should work the same way that it shows up in the example right here that I should be able to run the notif uh, grab the notification and then do notification wait for exist. Uh, one thing that I'm doing differently here is um, 
I'm passing in a selector here. When I go like that, and I don't think that's going to work. So I need to do element. This is Donkey Kong. It may, it may be Donkey Kong. It is. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to get my element from there, but I don't remember having an issue with this, finding this element. Oh, yeah, this is going to have an issue because um, it's not going to find this element and it's going to run wait for exist, but it's not running. I don't think it's running wait for exist on this element. Let, let's try that. But I don't think it's going to actually find the element. So it was okay with that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that you can kind of define your element that you want to wait for first and then wait for it. Um, and then expect that to be there. And really uh, what's interesting about this is you don't need this expectation here because um, you're, you're basically testing it with this exists right here. So if this didn't pass, then this isn't going to pass. So um, it's kind of kind of interesting. What I'd like to see is um, me find some time that I could do to eventually contain text uh, and then pass in a response and kind of build that uh, chai query out so that you could just pass in um, instead of most recent conversation dot is existing, you could do um most recent conversation dot element and then just pass in that value so i basically i get that element and i'm expecting that element to contain text so like that um expect most recent most recent conversation element result to contain the text and then i don't even have to add this message in here because when the failure comes through it's going to say expected element with a class of select with the with the selector to contain the text and everything so that'd be super cool but if i try and run that it's actually not going to work oh well <laughs> it almost but yeah to contain text is not a function so that's that. Um, that's that's waiting for things and kind of stuff. If you have any questions on that, feel free to reach out to me um, via YouTube. I'll probably get this up on YouTube if I didn't mess up on the, the sound um, certification and everything for YouTube streams and all that.